is one. I don't know if you want to name. Your Honor, I object. That baby should not be here, and the witness knows it. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I realize Ms. Wash called me to the stand and not my daughter. I wasn't given much notice before I was called. My nanny is supposed to meet me here, but obviously she's a little late. Cardi's got a plan, and that's never good. Let's just see how this plays out. Your Honor, this is blatantly prejudicial. No one had any idea she was going to show up to court with a baby. No one had any idea you were going to drag my son out of school and force him to testify and not allow me in the courtroom to watch him in case he got scared. She has a point, Miss Walsh. It doesn't give her the right to pull a stunt like this. Well, that's my call, not yours, and I'm willing to listen, but not for very long. Thank you, Your Honor. As a mom, I have to say that I think Jocelyn is what this trial is really about. I mean, she is the one good thing that happened that night. And I do think that everyone should meet the baby Claudia tried to steal. Huh. And I hope all of you agree with me that my precious little girl is worth anything Sonny had to do to save her. Your Honor, she's testifying and she hasn't even been sworn in and she's holding a baby. I'm calling a recess. Mrs. Jack, don't bring the baby back into my courtroom. Yes, Your Honor. Counsel will meet me in chambers. Great. I think she loved being did, the star did, did of the you, show. Did you think the jury was going to see Jocelyn on the stand and then acquit me on the spot? But yeah, something like that. Like the time you took the baseball bet to the five families? That almost worked. You almost got us killed. You can't pull these things right now. It's too, it's too, you can't. Did it's you my see life the, on the line. prosecutor Claire's beside herself, okay? I think she's got freaky baby issues Every or time you pull one of these stunts, somebody ends up in jail. And that could be me. Don't pick a fight with the one person who has your future. In their hands. I know what I'm doing. You're gonna thank me later. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Mrs. Jax, would you please tell us what happened to you on the night Claudia Corinthos died? Claudia pulled a gun out of her purse and she ordered me to come over to her. Why did you obey? Well, at that moment, I just spotted Michael and Christina and I was afraid that Claudia was going to start shooting. I did stall for a moment thinking that someone could stop her, but then she grabbed me. She grabbed me and she um, pulled me into the elevator. That was when I went into labor. And I tried to reason with her. I tried to talk to her. She forced me into a car out in front of the Metro Court and um, took off. She started talking crazy, you know. She was going on and on about my baby and how I didn't deserve her. And I knew at that moment that she was going to try and keep her, that she was going to take Jocelyn away from me after she was born. So um, I freaked out. I freaked out and I grabbed the wheel and we crashed. When I came to, Claudia was still unconscious, and, uh, well, I knew that I had to find a safe place to have my baby, so I took off and I started walking in the woods. Why didn't you flag down a car? Because there was no car. There was no traffic. I mean, the storm was terrible. And I was terrified that Claudia was going to wake up, so I had to get away. I mean, at one point I fell. And for a minute, I lay there and I thought, you know, I'm just going to curl up and let whatever happens happen because there's just no way that I can have this baby by myself. And then I was hit with another contraction. And um, I don't know if it was instinct or what, but it gave me the strength to get up and to, uh, well, to keep going. So I found a trail. And I followed it, and it led me to a cabin in the woods. And the cabin was abandoned. So I went inside, and uh, I started a fire. And I got ready to have my baby by myself. And I prayed for strength. 
I was terrified. I was scared to death, and I was alone. At that moment, the door flew open, and Sam was standing there, Sam McCall. And she helped me deliver my baby. It was hard. It was difficult. I yelled a lot. I pushed a lot. And uh, at the end of it all, Sam put my beautiful baby girl in my arms. And all I could do was just look at her beautiful face. And, and Sam was on the phone. She was calling people. But I really wasn't paying attention to what was going on. I didn't want Sam to leave me by myself, but I knew I had to get to the hospital, so Sam went to get the car and bring it closer to the cabin, and I was just holding Jocelyn in my arms, trying to keep her warm, and I heard a noise, and I looked up, and there was Claudia. She was standing there in the doorway, and her head was bleeding, and she was holding a gun, and she came over, and she tried to take Jocelyn and I tried to hold on but she took Jocelyn away from me and I wasn't strong enough and I couldn't stop her she was trying to steal my baby and I was screaming and yelling for her to give her back and I was begging her to give Jocelyn back to me and that's when Sonny showed up Sonny did not mean to kill Claudia Claudia had a gun and she was trying to steal my baby. Sonny didn't have a choice. I mean, he grabbed something, and, and it turned out to be the handle of an axe, but he had no idea at the time. Sonny hit Claudia to stop her from stealing my little girl. It was an accident. He did not mean to kill her. And if Sonny hadn't done what he did, my baby and I would not have survived. Sonny knelt down next to Claudia, and she was dead. What happened next? I knew after what happened at the Metro Court, Sonny would never get a fair trial. And I didn't want him to be punished for saving my little girl's life. So I told Sonny that we needed to cover it up, and we tell everyone that Claudia disappeared. Thank you. No further questions, Your Honor. Ms. Walsh? I appreciate the bravery and the sheer force of will it must have taken to give birth under such terrible circumstances, but I need to understand the details. Your testimony is that you were running through the woods in full labor during the worst storm in years. I didn't have a choice. Well, you must have developed superhuman powers. Maybe. Or it was instinct. Or adrenaline. I don't know, but I couldn't have a baby in the woods in the storm. We both would have died. Isn't it true that Claudia helped you into the cabin that night? No. Claudia delivered your baby, didn't she? No. And you had already had your baby before Sonny showed up. Isn't that your testimony? Yes, it is. Claudia tried stealing her. Well, you don't have to be superwoman to admit the truth, Mrs. Jax. Isn't it true that Claudia helped you through the woods that night? Objection asked and answered. Hey. Claudia delivered your baby, didn't she? And Sonny didn't show up to save you. He showed up to make Claudia pay. And I only hope that he waited until you and your baby girl were out of that cabin before he deliberately and with malice bludgeoned Claudia to death. Objection! Isn't that what really happened, Mrs. Jax? Claudia's death was an accident. I swear it. And I'd swear it on my daughter's life. <laughs>